many people say that it's Obama's fault that nothing is getting done, which simply isn't true. If you're familiar with the three branches of the U.S. government, the legislative, the judicial, and executive branches, then you'd know that it is impossible for anything to get done without Congress doing anything. Well, that's just the thing. Congress hasn't been doing anything since November of 2010. Ever since that congressional election, two parties have been given insufficient numbers to pass any bills. Because of this, they can't make any bills. For something to happen, the president must sign these bills. Obama can't do anything if he doesn't have any bills to sign. Now, this is just me. But I believe that the Republican and Democratic parties, the liberal and conservative parties, and the like, have just given their underlings labels. Being a Republican or Democrat does not make you a conservative or liberal. Just because you belong to one party doesn't mean that you think the way the majority of the party does. For example, people believe that the Republican Party is widely conservative, which is true, to an extent. Because of this label, many people feel that they are obligated to think conservatively if they belong to that party. This is just me, but I believe that if we were to remove these labels, more things would get done in Congress, or anything at all. Now, if Romney is elected, I won't lie, something is probably going to happen. However, that doesn't mean that whatever will happen will help our economy, just the same as what Obama may do may not help the economy either. Since Romney is a Republican, he will probably feel obligated to sign bills that the Republican Congress will send him, such as lowering taxes, or raising taxes on the upper middle, which may help the economy. However, if in November of 2012, the U.S. decides to elect a Democratic Congress, progress may be put on a hiatus again within the legislative body. So, to put it simply, the President is not the person who gets things done. It is Congress, and Congress alone. The President can only sign and enforce bills, giving him or her little to no control over what is passed, because Congress can override the President's veto. The only body that can actually negate Congress power is the Supreme Court. So, before going to blame everything on Obama if he is re-elected, or Romney if he is elected, think about how the government works.